You just finished building your brand new PC after weeks of waiting for parts and hours of putting it all together. But when you start Windows, there's no internet connection. How are you supposed to update? How are you supposed to download your favorite games? How are you supposed to download Google Chrome, which everyone knows that we're going to use instead of Microsoft Edge? Well, here's how. After I made a short video how to fix this, I've had several people reach out and ask for an in-depth video on how to do this. So we're going to do that today. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a fairly common issue for a new PC. And in my experience, it really only seems to happen with Intel CPUs. So if you have an Intel build and this happens, don't freak out. We're going to fix it. There is no LAN or Wi-Fi driver installed on your computer at this point. So there's no way for your computer to connect to the Internet. But thankfully, this is a pretty simple issue to fix. And all it really takes is one of these and another computer in most cases sometimes it does take a second computer but some motherboard manufacturers like msi will send you one of these usb flash drives that actually come with some of those drivers pre-installed so if you're one of those lucky few with one of these magic sticks you can skip the part where we switch to the second pc and jump straight to the part where we start installing the driver first things first let's take our flash drive i know i switched it on you Let's take our flash drive and go plug it into our second computer. Now, the first thing you need to do, we're gonna have to get to your motherboard's website. However, if you don't actually know the model for your motherboard, there's a couple easy ways to do it. If you just finished building your PC, you might still have the box, in which case the box tells you what it is. It has a model right there, Asus ROG Crosshair 80. So you could either take the box. If you threw that away already, that's okay. The other thing you can do is go into your BIOS, which you would just restart your PC, spam the delete key once it turns off, and then it'll boot you into your BIOS. In which case you'll see something like this. This is an image from the internet, but this is an, what an MSI BIOS might look like for a Z790 motherboard. And you can see right on there on the top right, it says M MB, that's gonna be your motherboard model. So it says Mag Z790 Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4. So there's a model of your motherboard. You're gonna take that and you're gonna go on to Google. All you really need to do is type in exactly that. You got MSI Mag Z790. Tomahawk, look, it's already finishing it for me. Tomahawk Wi-Fi DDR4. You're going to go to the motherboard manufacturer's website, and you are going to navigate to support. It's going to look a little bit different if you're on Asus or Gigabyte or ASRock, but it, it'll all be relatively similar. You're going to go to driver, scroll down, make sure you're on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 11, they should be pretty much similar drivers. And here you're going to find LAN driver, and you're going to download this Intel network driver or if you don't have access to a Ethernet cable and you're actually going to be running this strictly off of your Wi-Fi, make sure you download the Intel Wi-Fi driver. So just click download. It's going to start downloading that. You can see up in the top right, mine's already done. And then you're going to drag that into your USB drive. This is the Wi-Fi driver we just downloaded. I'm going to extract it to our USB drive. Hit extract. And now it is saved to our flash drive. So that's all the work that we have to do on this computer. Like I said, if you have one of those magic sticks, you get to skip this part and move on to the next part. Okay. At this point, we are going to pretend that my main PC is the new PC in question. You can see here at the bottom that we've got that little globe there, which means we have no internet access. I've actually deleted my LAN driver just so I can show you how easy this is to update it. So I downloaded a driver from Asus, one from Gigabyte and one from MSI, just so you can see how similar it's going to look for each of them. It doesn't come with a main folder, but you'll see here you have this Asus setup.exe. All you're going to have to do, double click on that and it's going to install the driver. For MSI, it's going to look similar. There is this MSI setup drive 64.exe. Just double click on that. For the Gigabyte driver, it really only downloads a single file, this MB driver application file. So really all you have to do, double click on that, it's gonna extract it, and then it'll just walk you through. On MSI and on ASUS, typically you're gonna double click on it. You won't see anything really happening other than like a quick loading cursor, and then it's gonna work in the background completely. You won't ever know that it's happening. But basically within 30 seconds to a minute, the driver is gonna finish installing, and then down at the bottom right corner, you're going to see that symbol change from a globe to the connected symbol. And you can see it right there. We've already got it. Got a little computer monitor with a little cable on it. It says network to internet access. That means our driver has been installed. We have restored our connection and our brand new computer can now be updated. We can start downloading games. We can start downloading Google Chrome, Steam, whatever you want it's ready. I really hope this helps some of y'all out. And if you're a little bit stuck on where to go from here, I have a video on YouTube called Guide What to Do After Building Your PC. That'll walk you through some of the steps you should take 
in your newly built PC to make sure everything's updated and ready to go. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you wanna see more of this helpful PC content, we'll see you on the next one.